Fiverr is one of the many ways you can start earning money online as a complete beginner. In this video, I'll go over the steps you have to take from knowing absolutely nothing about the site to publishing your first gig where you'll be able to start earning an online income from your laptop. This is a tutorial as well, remember, so if you want, have your Fiverr website set up in another tab and let's do this together. What is Fiverr? So Fiverr is a freelancing website for people to sell services. No matter what your level of experience is, you'll always have a market on what you're trying to sell. You as a seller will have to create gigs. These are a showcase on what you can do and what you're selling. So if I was a marketing freelancer, I could sell myself as someone who would, could increase company's social media by using my own techniques. I've just said one example there, but there are many different categories as well. So find something that you're good at and either get better at it and sell yourself or sell yourself as an entry level freelancer and build up clients from there. Fiverr is also completely international. You can work from anywhere in the world and you can work from anyone who is willing to buy your services. So now I've gone over the basics of Fiverr, let's just jump in a bit further and see how we can sign up and get started. Once you've finished watching this video, please give me any feedback. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments. If you could hit that thumbs up button as well, that would be extremely helpful. This here is Fiverr's homepage. It's laid out perfectly for a beginner. Scrolling down slightly further, you can see some of the most popular categories. So if we just go into one here, as you can see, it then goes deeper into the actual services that people are providing inside these larger categories. This gives you hundreds of ideas that you could choose for your own selling service. But for now, let's just head back out and create our profile. So firstly, we just need to go here and go to join. So as I already have an account as well, I'm just gonna use another email address, then pick a username and password. Great, so now we've done that, we will then be put back to the home page of Fiverr. And also, as you can see up here, they want you to do a, a verify your email. So just make sure you head over to your email, verify that email. If you haven't got it, there's a little resend email here. And then once you've done that, this should then be gone. I'll just do that now. Perfect, so now as you can see, this is gone as we've just verified the account. So now we've made our profile, let's become a seller. So just go to the top right hand corner, click this initial and then go down to become a seller. Then you'll be taken to this page where you can then watch a video on someone explaining how the process all works. But for now, again, if we just press continue, these slides here are for a little guidance, maybe just have a read of them in your, when you've done this or pause the video. So this is their community guidelines. You don't want to lie about any information and what you do. This could breach their guidelines. Also here, you don't want to make multiple accounts as you can just make more gigs in that same profile. Also, Fiverr is against the use of selling services and outsourcing it to other people on Fiverr. And finally, they don't want you to request to take payments outside their platform for obvious reasons. This can be dangerous as you may make more money due to the fees that will obviously incur. However, you're at a greater chance of being scammed and not receive any money at all. Once you've had a read of these, let's just press continue. So this first page here is our personal information page. So if we just start with our name and then fill everything out here, it then gives us an opportunity to put a profile picture in. Now, this is hugely important to do. Make sure this is a clear photo, you look professional. This has a huge impact in whether customers will buy or not buy. But as this is just a demo account, I'm just gonna put in my logo here. Then come down to the description here. Briefly talk about yourself and your past experience in an industry if you know what you're gonna do. If you don't, don't worry, just write out something for now and then later in the video, when we have come to a decision, you can then alter this to what you want. Then lastly, we just have languages. So obviously put down all that you know, or if it's just one in this case, then just put English or whatever your language is. This is best also to fill it out. So if you do know other languages, even at an intermediate level, just put them down anyway. Right, moving on. This here now is our professional information. First, your occupation. This doesn't have to be your day-to-day -day work. This will be what you want to be selling. Like I showed at the beginning, these are different categories in which there are services in. So these are the ones that we could see at the beginning. But now let's just say we're doing digital marketing. Put your year in of when you started and finished. Then we're told here to pick between two and five different subcategories as well. Now, again, I know some people still may not know what they're gonna be doing. So if you have a slight idea, then only choose a small amount of skills and then they can be changed later. If you know you have more than one skill, you can also add an extra occupation 
allowing you to do multiple gigs in different categories. Now we come down to the skills. This is where you can really hone in on what you want to be selling as a freelancer. If you have any idea, then enter those skills here. And if you enter one, you can still put in beginner, which will then mean you can then learn that skill and get better. So just to put down what you think, and then you can change your experience level here. Once you've added it, just press add here, and then it comes up with other suggestions so that are similar. So maybe for me, mine would be Instagram as well. Education is pretty straightforward. This isn't mandatory, so putting it down could help you, but for the majority of time, you'd never really need it. Every time I've hired someone on Fiverr, I've never even looked at their education unless it's for something bigger and I'm spending a lot more money. And that goes same to certification. If you are a beginner, I'm pretty sure you aren't gonna have any, but say if you do, then just enter it here and add it because a small change could be the difference between someone then hiring you or someone else. Finally, personal website. This is for work samples to show previous completed work. However, like I just stated, most people will probably watch it are going to be beginners so this can be overlooked then we head to continue this here now is linked accounts these can in help increase your credibility as with a lot of freelancers there still can be many scams on these sites so linking all your relevant accounts together will make you more verified to not only the site but also to your customers so i'll just connect some of mine now also another security one would be then the account security for your email and phone number again this is just to help you become more verified and more of an actual person Person rather than one of these scammers on these websites. So putting these in can help you. So now we have fully finished your profile, we're gonna be able to move on and start creating our first gig. So you can see here, this is where we build out the service. It has six steps that we need to get through before we can finish and publish our gig. This will then go live and hopefully we'll start getting some sales. However, the first thing we need to do before we even start creating the title is some research. So we need to go over what we want to sell, how we want to sell it, as well as replicating others that are doing it well in that category. So we're gonna head back over to Fiverr, but on the account we just made, have a look through some other services and gigs that people are doing well. Also rem remember, we have to find something that you either have some knowledge in or want to learn some more about that niche and category. So the number of opportunities are endless with Fiverr. You have so many different paths that you could take. So here we've got graphics and design, we've got digital marketing, writing and translation, video and animation, music and audio, programming and tech. There's a new one called data. We then have business stuff and also we've got lifestyle. But for now, if we just go into social media marketing and then here is the subcategories and social media management. And let's just have a look at some of them for a second to see what they're doing. Now you can pick anything else as well. This isn't, this is just what I'm gonna do for this demo account, but you pick something that you find, maybe have a look through some of the other categories that I showed you and find something from there. So maybe pause this video now and go back and have a look. So this is the first person that has come up. You can see here that they have a five star rating. They also have a thousand or more orders and they also are a top rated seller. So this is great. So we'll just go have a look because she's obviously doing something quite right. So this here is the title. So this needs to be filled with keywords and stuff that when people search up in the box here, they come through and they can find things that are gonna be related to their what they want. You can see a bit further down as well, she's got some images. It seems that she's got a video, but there's some images of something that she would then promote and that she does. A bit further down, this is what people have been saying about her as in through the reviews. You then have the about section of this gig. This can be quite important to the gig as then people will then see the price, come over here and then get a deeper understanding of what the gig will actually entail. Even further down, you then have the about page. So this is about the seller, see where they're from, when they started, and also just that small about description that I talked about earlier. Then over on the right, this is where then you have your packages. Best thing you can do is have the three packages, the basic, the standard, the premium, and then Describe what they are, each this each one. So this is basic, then the standard one is then different to the premium as well, obviously. And we have the prices. So maybe pause the video here if you're gonna do this in real time with me now, as I'll be going on to the gig creation now. Just look through Fiverr as long as you want, searching all the different possibilities that you could go into. Maybe write a list down as well, get a few ideas. So if one does fall through later, you then have other backup ones. Right, let's get back to the gig. So firstly, we have the gig title. So like I said before, make sure when you're doing the gig title, you have keywords related to what you're trying to sell. So for what I'm doing, I'm saying I'm doing social media management. 
So with this, the keyword would be managing and then also social media pages. We can then move down and go to categories. We're obviously in digital marketing. Then next we have the subcategories. So ours would then be social media marketing. Yours are obviously gonna be different. Like here, if you click writing, subcategories are obviously gonna be all different. This then service type, make sure you're filling out as many of these as possible. The more detail you have in these, the better it'll be someone to find you. So here, look, it just says, choose a service type to ensure you appear in the search results. The more of you have of these, they're not, you don't have to, but they are recommended and then people will be able to find you a lot better. Then going to the metadata, this is then the platform type and the management tools. For the social media management, they just want me to select, select three that I can do. And lastly, we have search tags. Again, these are just for searchability. So make sure you're putting five tags in and get them the most detailed tags you can possibly do. Once you've filled out everything, just head to save and continue and then move on to the next step. Packages is next. So here we can choose what we want to charge people. Have to be careful here and maybe check some of your competition to see what they're also charging. As if you charge too much, you'll get no sales at the beginning and get absolutely nowhere. So the best thing to do is start relatively cheap and then once you have some sales and some good reviews you can then increase the price when you're filling out this you want to make sure you have the three packages selected but for now what i'm doing i'm just going to put one there so we can fill out one and i'll explain that as we go along so first here we're going to name the package so this being our basic package we're going to have only one post a day on one social platform these will all be subjective as well to what you're doing. So it can be anything. So have a quick think again, look through other people and what they've done in your niche and then do something similar to what they've done. Moving on, we then have the description. Just describe, make sure as well that you're only doing this one. So this isn't general. It has to be selective to the basic package. Then we have moving down, go to delivery time. For this basic package as well, we want to have the quickest or even to be fair for all of them, you want to have the quickest delivery time you possibly can. This will make sure people are buying from you more than anyone else. So for the basic one, let's just click one day delivery. Number of platforms, this may be different for you as well, but for me, for the social, I'm just gonna do one, as up here I've said, one post on one social platform. On then the standard, you could have then two social platforms and then on premium, maybe three, it's up to you. This here as well will all get, again, be subjective to whatever you've done. So for me, say you wanna add these, the basic and then have an extra one for reporting on the next on the standard and then for the premium you can then also add an action plan so make sure each of these are really different in what you'll be giving and this one will be the same for everyone but revisions is at the bottom so this means here how many times you will then submit your work and then have the customer say they want it changed for this, I'd only have it one, two, or three. I wouldn't have too many more than that. You can do unlimited, but you'll be working quite a lot for the job and it can then take forever. A little tip as well, to get more people to click on your profile is obviously have these three packages here, but it may sound obvious, but have your basic package to be a completely small service to compare to what you're willing to offer. So i.e. only $10 for a quarter of what you're offering. And then the mid range package is the one you want the majority of people to buy, then have the large one, a huge number making people go for the mid range one. This isn't to say you won't get sales on the other two. It does help drive sales and make the middle one look more appealing. Also having this basic package be as small as possible. So say $5, this will be the one that people are going to see when they're scrolling through because it will then say from five dollars they'll be more likely to click on your profile and then you've got more chance of then actually buying from you these here going a bit further down are extra services so if you want to have an extra fast delivery it wouldn't happen on the basic one but if the standard was then three day delivery they could then get a one day delivery for an extra ten dollars and then that gives you ten dollars in your pocket and you can then expedite their delivery and make it faster for them and get more money you can then offer reporting and then like i said up top you can have an action plan for more money additional revisions for more money and you can keep adding extra services as well once you've done all that head to save and continue and move on now we've moved on to step three which is a big part of our gig and something that can really help drive more sales through this is our description so there are two ways to go about this. The first way is you either 
Keep it short and to the point by using maybe bullet points so anyone reading can see exactly what they're getting. So it's very simple. Or you can go hugely detailed description going over every point of what you're trying to sell maybe some previous work if you have any LinkedIn too. Also a little comment at the end about what else you could provide. But now for this, like I said, it's a demo account. So what I'm gonna be doing is just a basic description. You can choose whatever you want though. But as this isn't something I'm actually gonna be doing, it doesn't matter too much. I'll just get something written out here, then I'll come back to you. So what I've done is just check some other people and see what they've done. And I've written a small bit about me here and about the gig, and then also my services that I'll include. These bullet points do really help as I know when I'm buying from Fiverr, if they have bullet points, it makes it a lot easier for me to just to see what I'll be getting and I can then choose from there. Okay, moving on from that, we now move down to the frequently asked questions. They can be extremely useful and a great thing to add. So just like when you go to buy something off Amazon, I'm sure you check out these sometimes. They can immediately answer something that is in your head, which could be something stopping you from buying the product. So this works in exactly the same way. So put down some if you know any, or maybe check out some other people in the niche, see what they've got. But this is just something simple that would work for my niche. I can then press add, and that's then gonna come up at the bottom of the page when they're looking at the gig. Once again, we've done this step. So once you've done that, press save and continue and move on. Now we've moved on to the next step to requirements. This is where we really need to get an understanding of the customer's business and what they want. I always think that it's best to have as many questions as you can within reason, then you can make sure you have provided the best possible work as you will be given so much detail on what needs to be done. Once someone buys your package, they'll then be prompted to then take these questions. Then as soon as they've done them, you'll get the answers to questions and you can start the process of completing the service. So just have a think here, enter some questions that you think you'll be needing. Also ones that are gonna help you design your work professionally and promptly. And that's what it will look like once you've added one. And when you've added all your questions, I may be advised having maybe three, four or five. Press save and continue and we'll move on. Lastly, we have the gallery. So this is where you can showcase your work or you can put in images related to your service. Again, another great idea here is to go look at other people in your niche and see what they have done and then go from there, either by using similar photos or making your own. If you have done previous work, then 100% put these down as there will be great incentives for customers to then go with you. As well as these first images, a lot of people don't just showcase their work, they have writing on them too, adding more things people can read as well as the title. There are again, more chances for them to be clicking on you. A great free software to use here to make similar things to them is Canva. Just Google it and have a play around. It's pretty simple, it's almost just drag and drop. So that's something that could help you get more clicks rather than just a single image. So this, is, this here is what I mean when I just say they don't have just images of their products they've got. They've created this through either Photoshop or Canva. Now, once you've entered all your images, you can then go down and click down to save and continue. Once we've done that, then rather than clicking publish gig straight away, just head up here and press save and preview. We can then see what it will look like to a potential customer i.e. we can see the title and if that works we can then have a look at the pricing to see if that looks all right all our images are working move down we can have that the about the gig and see if that looks okay if it all looks okay then great then head on if not then just move to edit gig go back a step and then change whatever needs to be changed once that's all done come back to this page and we'll go to done so now our gig is live for people to see and for you to start getting sales congratulations if you did find this video useful, then please hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more similar content or for other ways to earn money online, click on the video that will be up on the screen now.